5 things you need to look out for when buying a used lens. Buying a used lens is a great way to save a lot of money, especially when you're starting out photography. For the price of a new and crappy lens, you can get something actually decent. I'm not saying that a good lens necessarily has to be extremely expensive. Take the Canon's 15mm 1.8 lens. It's cheap but for what it is it's an amazing lens and it has saved my ass many times what i'm saying is that if you go thrift shopping and you know what you're looking for you're going to get way more bang for your buck not only that but Keep in mind that your camera is only as good as the lens in front of it. So you're going to spend the majority of your budget on decent lenses. And also, keep in mind that a good lens will outlive many camera bodies. So if you know what you're looking for, you shouldn't be concerned about your lens dying on you if you buy it used. The first thing you want to do is a general visual inspection of the lens. So what you're looking here for is anything that would indicate that the lens has been abused, misused, or dropped on the ground. So you're looking for scratches, any scuffs, anything that would indicate that the lens has not been taken properly care of. If somebody is trying to tell you that the lens has been lightly used but you notice that the focus ring or the zoom ring is worn out, that's probably a lot. So the first thing is the obvious, just a general visual inspection of the lens. The second thing you want to do when you're inspecting the lens are the optics. So what you want to do is you want to take the lens, remove the front and the rear cap of the lens and just look through the lens. So what you're looking for is any dust particles inside of the lens between the optical elements. In some cases I've heard that there has been fungus between the optical elements that just starts to grow so it's just completely unusable. Also make sure that there are no scratches on the front element on the lens and on the back element on the lens. Lens. But even with some slight scratches on the front of the lens, that might not be the end of the world. I'm going to link a video down in the description below where Tony just took a 15mm, the Canon Nifty 50, a 15mm f1.8 lens and he used a key, so he just scratched the front element, just completely destroyed the front element with a key and he was taking photos afterwards with horribly scratched front element of the lens and for my surprise, and also for his surprise, as he said in the video, the photos were actually not that bad, even because he was doing it gradually. He was scratching the lens a bit, then taking photos, then scratching the lens even more and taking photos, and even with really deep scratches, uh, it wasn't really noticeable in the pictures. So some slight scratches on the front element is nothing that you should be completely afraid of. Of course you want the best lens without the scratches on the front of the lens, however, slight scratches that might be normal and that's not really the end of the world, that doesn't mean that the lens is not usable at all. The third thing you need to look out for, and it's something that I think a lot of people overlook, are loose joints. So it doesn't matter if you're buying a prime lens or a zoom lens, with time the joints, the focusing ring and the zoom ring tend to get loose. Also this is a good indicator that the lens has been dropped, perhaps the glass has not cracked, but if the focus ring and the zoom ring, if they are loose, then it's a good indicator that the lens has been used a lot or that the lens has been abused. So what you want to do is you just want to take the lens, you just want to take the lens and you just want to move around the focusing ring and the zoom ring. And also if your lens has an extending front element, a good thing to do is to move that around and to see if, that, if the front element is not getting loose as well. But use your best judgment and a little bit of movement in the front element is perfectly normal. Because here's my first lens, the first lens that I ever got, the Canon 18 to 55mm kit lens. It came with my Canon 650D and quickly I bought a new lens to take photos with. So this lens has pretty much just sat on my shelf, not doing anything. But for my surprise, even with that, the front element it still moves around. So my assumption is that a little bit of front element movement is perfectly fine, but again, use your best judgment to determine if the front element is not moving around too much. 
So the next thing you want to check for are the focusing motors and if the lens has image stabilization for the image stabilization motors. So what you want to do is you want to attach the lens on your camera body and just try to take a couple of photos in different focal lengths and also in different focusing distances and you want to listen to the focusing motor if the focusing motor is going to fail you will hear these weird cracking noises and you will just hear that the focusing motor has troubles moving the optical elements inside of the lens it's really noticeable if the focusing motor is going to fail because it sounds really really weird but keep in mind that there are some lenses with really loud focusing motors and if the focusing mechanism is really loud that just might be because of the lens because it doesn't have the quiet focusing mechanisms but usually if the me focusing mechanism is dying it's really obvious with the sound and the same comes with the image stabilizing mechanism it also makes a noise when you are using it but again if it's going to fail soon it usually makes these weird cracking noises and it's just really obvious by the sound that the mechanism is about to die. And the fifth thing that usually people completely forget about are the aperture blades inside of the lens. So this is something you can check really easily, just put the lens on your camera body and set it to different apertures, close the aperture all the way down or open it up and to check if the aperture blades are fine you can just use the aperture preview button on your camera, it's located right next to the lens and just look inside of the lens the aperture blades just have to close up really fast without any hesitations and make sure you check different apertures well and that's pretty much it well the last thing that you can also look out for but this is for really really cheap lenses if the lens has a a plastic bayonet such as this cheap kit lens and the older versions of the Canon Nifty 50 they also had a plastic bayonet these things can wear out really quickly and with time they can become loose in front of your camera so if you are buying a lens with a plastic bayonet make sure that it doesn't move around when it's attached to your camera and that's it for buying a used lens if you follow all of these steps and use your best judgment you will have no problems buying a used lens that will serve you for many many years to come so let me know maybe i missed something let me know what are your methods of checking used lenses and i'll see you guys in the next video